This is a Nerf Blaster, and while it's one of the most entertaining toys ever made, it just wasn't big enough. So I made this. This is my homemade Nerf turret. It weighs 150 pounds and can rotate in 360 degrees of motion. It's taken me about six months to get to this point, and I'm gonna show you how I made it. Now don't get me wrong, Nerf blasters are cool, but they're just not big enough. Not that size matters, but if you pull up to the Nerf battle with this, versus with this, you're gonna be a little more intimidating with the bigger blaster. Now the only problem with this is that the biggest blaster that Nerf sells is the Nerf Destiny Gallahorn, which is four feet long. And while it does look pretty intimidating, it's just not big enough. So instead of spending $185 on the Nerf Gallahorn, I decided to spend $700 building a Nerf turret. God, I'm so stupid. So after multiple design iterations and hours of work, and even a little bit of math that I don't even know if it was right. The input, that's 50. T, 4.5. Uh. All that was left to do was to build it. Now let's do a quick rundown of how it works. To start off, the turret here is controlled by the 6 channel remote control, which is connected to a receiver in the electronics box. The electronics box houses the power sources and speed controllers for all the motors. On the turret, there are five motors, one in the base, one under the gun, and three in the gun. The base motor is a big 500 watt motor that is connected to a gear train, which turns the 2500 RPM of the motor. There's 100% that fast to a much more manageable speed for the turntable. The gun can be angled up and down via the linear actuator. The gun itself is a custom 3D printed gun called the Lepus, made by Frontline Foam. Inside the gun there are three motors. Two motors that spin to up over 30,000 RPM and another motor that is used to push darts into the flywheels here. The gun uses half darts, but they only sell half dart magazines that can hold 18 darts. So I bought three, cut the bottoms off, and epoxied them all together to create one giant magazine. Now granted, this magazine can only hold around 45 darts max capacity, but it's still much better than the 18 dart capacity of the original magazines. The only downside is having to reload this whole thing after you fire all the darts. Maybe one day I'll make more giant magazines so I can just swap them out instead of having to reload them. I don't know. To turn the whole system on, you plug this in, flip this, turn this knob, push this, flip this switch, flip this switch, and last but not least, flip this switch. To fire this gun, you move the joystick up and to the side. Oh, and did I forget to mention that this gun fires at around 22 darts a second, which is very fast. That's over two and a half times faster than Nerf's fastest firing blaster. In your face, Nerf. Though I don't want to take any credit to how fast this gun fires. That credit goes to the brilliant engineers at Frontline Foam. They designed this gun and made the files and parts available so you can make it at home. I'll link it in the description. Now as far as range, power, and accuracy, I haven't really tested anything. So let's go test that. So from my testing, I discovered that the Nerf turret can shoot a max distance of around 61 feet. I just measured this in my backyard using Google Earth. 
As for speed, the darts can reach speeds up to 68 miles an hour, or about 100 feet per second. I measured this by putting paint sticks in my backyard every one foot and then timing how long it took for the dart to travel across them. After my testing, I just had to play around with this thing because it's so cool. Okay, so remember at the beginning of the video when I said this? I decided to spend $700 building a nerf turret. Yeah, so I paid for this all out of pocket, and I don't make any money from these videos, and I don't get any sponsors, I just had to do a butt ton of chores. <laughs> so it'd really help me out if you subscribed. Subscribing is free, and maybe one day I'll have enough subscribers where I can get sponsors on my videos. I don't know. Thank you to all of my subscribers, and thank you for watching. 